Okay. okay. What if I just... What if I just made this an ASMR stream? What if I did that? What if I did that? Oh. Oh, already. What am I having? Nope, my CPU. We're good. You know what? Maybe I will. We'll do... We'll do... Uh, this will be an ASMR Elden Ring stream. When is my fucking dashboard gonna load? Can't even manage... Fuck. Alright. Um... I have no energy. I went outside today. It was lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Lots of rain. Lots of birds. There were a lot of robins out, actually. Which, you don't see a lot of them in the fall time. But I think the rain really got them excited to go worm hunting. So there were lots and lots of robins. American robins. God, I didn't realize I would spawn in on um, Torrent. Okay. So... I do think there is a boss here. Maybe there's a structure over here. I think there's a boss here. I know there's a boss here and here. I mean, there's two bosses here. There's this cave. So what do we have marked? Mark this. Oh, shit. Oh, I see. I fucked up. There's... I have that marked. Well, we'll... This one is kind of awesome, so we'll do it a little bit later. I'm not going to forget where that one is. Oh, but maybe... Okay, because we're working our way up and around. So it's kind of hard for me to decide which... boss I want to tackle first in what order. And I know this over here is the... Uh, the capital outskirts. And I kind of want to clear. I also know that there's three bosses over here. There's a cave here. There's boss on the bridge and there's a boss over here in this crater. I remember that. But I do... Let's check out this rune. It's gonna be so therapeutic. Right to blood and ruins. Oh. Hello there. So you've got this fucking thing. Which... Duh, you missed. Let me... little guys. Oh shit. I mean, the audio is honestly too loud for a real ASMR style stream, but I'll try nonetheless. I'll try and he's just talking about doing ASMR, so we're gonna do it. I'm gonna try my best to be nice and calm and despite being I'm, I gotta get closer to the mic because I don't think if I spoke that quiet, quietly the normal distance I'd be away from, uh, from the microphone I think the game audio would be too loud Oh yeah, way better. Just do that the whole time. Nice. Okay. So now let's explore around here, see if I can find anything. Because is it like around I don't know if it's like an illusory thing, but I'm pretty sure there is a boss around here somewhere. Be over here in this chunk of ruin, potentially. There's a lot of sacramental buds, which I don't know. Oh Jesus. Right, I'm not yeah no, I think this is a boss. Sacramental buds you can use to make the um oh god. Um, you can use sacramental buds to make the cure for scarlet rot, that consumable item. I don't really know 
we're gonna need that. Real quick, sit this down. Let's let's bust open a rune arc. Hope that we don't get hit by these guys on our way to the boss. Oh god, the fucking dog. Alright, we need to just go. We have enough to summon, yeah. Sanguine Noble, so we fought one of these guys earlier, but this is the boss area. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be no big deal. You know, unless he does a shit ton of damage. I'm just worried about the dog that's gonna come in after this, honestly. Oh, bye bye. <laughs> that was a. Uh... Very difficult boss, honestly. Very difficult. Where's that fucking dog? Is it? Oh, he didn't follow me down. Well, that's already one down for this stream. Very nice. Oh, I have his little dagger stuck in there. And a weapon that we're never going to use. Cool. So, I don't really know if I want to rock the Godskin Apostle just yet. Kind of want to figure out how... How we get down into here, because I actually don't remember. My assumption is that it might be uh, one of those spirit springs that you jump down. But it is possible that you, I, you might be able to jump down these chunks of bridge to get down there so i am going to go here and work my way up through there and then eventually we'll work our whole way around through here and uh get up to this hero's grave in the meantime we'll walk all the way back down there and let me check off sanguine noble from the list trying to um, we're, we actually might finish the main sort of chunk of the Altus Plateau and you know that is um, of course just this main sort of overworld area because there are a lot of other parts of Altus Plateau um, kind of that are like I mean well there's the castle the sort of outer city and then the, the kingdom itself and there's a bunch of areas underneath it as well Oh shit, hold on. Can I level up is the question of the day. No, but if I pop some souls, we'd get there. So let's let's do that. And I might actually also be able to level up my flask as well. Um Yeah, see, so what are they called? Yeah, preserving boluses. So with those sacramental buds, if we picked up the crafting recipe, which I think we did, we should be able yeah, we can make those. We do just have the spell that cures Scarlet Rot. But if we are out of FP, then we can make some of those in a pinch. So we need 3,000 souls. 800, 3,000. Damn. Okay, let's just pop two of these. I have a little extra left over. Oh yeah, and we can. Oh, I didn't realize we had a sacred tier. I don't know why I did that twice. Force a habit, I guess. Um, okay. So, trying to get up bigger faith decks. Endurance at 15 still is kind of low, and I would like to get that up closer to the end game. But kind of wanting, before we do that, decks... I mean, Dex is nice, but we're not... Really, the, the power of our build comes from our magic, so I want to get the Faith up, want to get the Vigor up. But we will do one Dex, because it looks like I was leveling these all equally. And 30 Dex would probably be nice. I'm, I'm looking for 30 Dex, 40 Vigor, and then, honestly, just Faith as high as it can go. I think Dex and Vigor will keep going higher. I'm not too worried about Mind at this point. I think at this point... We're good on mind. Because um, despite 
magic being really nice. Like, I don't use a ton of it, and I don't think I'm trying to use any super duper crazy spells that can tune consume a ton of FP, so I mean as long as we're fighting stuff in the overworld, it's really only ever going to become a problem when we're in a dungeon, and that's what the, the high dex is for, is for those rapiers. So I'm pretty pretty satisfied with that for now. All right. I mean, I might change my mind, but we'll see. So... Oh god, they're shooting at me. Um, I wonder if Brother Corrin has anything to say. I don't think he will. I think we have to go find the Brilliant Gold Mask before we talk to him again. I feel like a lot of good ASMR is descriptive, talking about stuff specifically being specific and um, I don't know trying to like communicate tasks that you're trying to accomplish I think is plenty relaxing oh yeah no we totally well that hmm let's see okay we're gonna ignore you cause you never have any actual real advice is there anything is there bad guys over here what you got. Lump of flesh. Okay. Alright. Yeah, it was a lovely, lovely fall day today. Very nice. I think that just teleports us over to the other side. We are trying to get to this minor entry here. So, let's see if we can't make it down here. I think, yeah, this jump is fine. And I thought two hits was gonna kill him. Um, oh yeah, yeah, we can make that. All right, down into the scary woods we go. And we hear these awful creatures, the worm faces. But we are looking to fight a particular one at this tree, and then also. I'm gonna go over to this dungeon while we're down here. And actually, actually, I believe, I think the gold mask is over here. So what we can do is we can we can grab this boss, do this dungeon. Don't know if there's anything worth checking out in this building, but there, there's these buildings that we might want to look at. We can circle back up here, go up to here, and loop around and talk to the NPC which might be useful. We might check out these other windmills if we're up to it. Then go up here, fight this scary boss. And then I guess we can go and check out this building. I know, well, oh yeah, we need to circle around and come up to here as well. I know that I missed at least one boss. There's a demi-human queen somewhere in these ruins, but I think I missed it. I'm pretty sure that I did not pay attention and I missed it. So we're gonna have to go back and figure that one out. This one is interesting because there's sort of a lower part of the ruins and a higher part. I'm pretty sure it's the higher part that is the boss. And I went up there, but I just didn't look. Maybe there was like an illusory thing. Or maybe I'm mistaken. I'm, I might actually just be mistaken. But that is the plan. And I don't know if we're gonna be able to get all that done this stream, but we should get close. And we also have to fight Lanciax, the dragon, at some point. And I do not remember where she is. I think she might be up here. But that's the plan. Um, worm faces are not too big of a deal. Oh, well, hi. I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, the death light is uh, the scary part. Out. Okay, I probably should not be on my horse, but I'm just too lazy to get off. Let's pop one of these, eh? Alright, is that... Where's the big... Is that him? I think, yeah. Okay, I think this is the boss. 
So let me let you. Oh, you're gonna get rid of my fucking bullshit. Man. Great. I'm gonna plop antenna right here. Honestly, maybe let's try going for some fireballs on this motherfucker. Oh god, the frame rate is no bueno. Oh wow, that did a lot of damage actually. Well, if the frame rate was a little bit higher, maybe this would be more impressive, but you know, finding a random scary ass dude in the middle of the woods is trying to slam his head into you and spits nastiness and worms at you. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah, no, this build is kicking his ass. Like, I did a strength build on my first playthrough, and I tried to fight him without Torrent, and he kicked my ass so many times. Granted, I came here way earlier. But, oh, oh, hey, hey, come on. Oh, yeah. oh, dude, you're done. Annihilated. <laughs> wow. That was insane. That was actually crazy. Crimson Spill Crystal Tier and a Speckled Hard Tier. Damn. <laughs> I wrecked that fucking guy. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know why my frame rate is so bad here. But there we go. Alright, let's. I mean, I don't know why. I hit the start button that doesn't actually pause. Okay, worm face, dunzo. Absolutely wrecked. Okay. Um yeah, that went considerably better than I thought it would. I fucking annihilated him. We'll go ahead and uh oh hi. I don't know what these guys are called, but they're always around minor herd trees. So Probably something to do with that in the lore. Dude, wood folk runes? Crazy. Dude, slugs. Is there... Oh, I see you. I fucking see you. Get it, get it, get it. Luckily, there's... Oh, dude. Golden Slam. We got the butt slam gamers. Right there. Wait, which... Where am I going? Okay, I'm going to point two. Let's like work our way around here. I just want to see if there's any items I can sneak. I don't really want to fight these guys. Because... Ooh, icon shield. I don't really want to fight these guys because they are rather difficult. And, well, they're not that hard, they just don't really give you that much, I don't think. Um, so I'm assuming that little plant over there leads us towards the cave, so I'm just going to assume that that's where we're going. I don't need to worry about it. Luckily, all these guys are too slow to keep up with us. But man, isn't this beautiful? Like, I mean, you know, ignore all the horrible demon beasts crawling about, but this is lovely. Now, the question is, y'all got some crazy item in there that you're protecting. Looks like no. Interesting. Now, do we need... How many stone sword keys do I have? Hold on. Um... Oh shit, I only have one. I might need two to get in here. I don't know if this is a free cave or if I need stones or keys. Um, well, it looks like I can just get in for free, but we do only have one stone sword key. So I should probably... Um, well, I should probably go and get more, eh? But not yet. Not yet. Let's do this dungeon first. Altus Tunnel. I don't know if there is anyone else. I, I know this is a problem for some other people, but um, 
Um, I know that there was, um, a lot of people thought it was Atlas Plateau for a really long time. Oh, fuck. Hi. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's, that's fine. Can you come out here, sir? Thank you. Ay, ay, ay. Good thing we got lots of magic. Ooh, rune arc, very nice. Always appreciated. Pop goes the weasel. Oh shit. Hello. That was actually pretty sick. Yeah. Comes out quick, the crouch attack. Okay. Does this lead anywhere? No. We got crystal darts. Like the same as usual, a bunch of fucking dudes. And we're gonna steal their stones. Yeah, my face. not be missing those. <laughs> do not have a ton of magic to work with. As I was talking about earlier when I said that we didn't have a ton of mine. No, god dang it. Wait, what the hell? Oh, I think I... Any, any bad guys? No. Mini Estelle. This is what the shield is for. Do I do I risk this and jump up on this thing? Right up top? Yeah, I think we do that. I think we go crazy mode. Oh shit, there's stuff here too. This doesn't move us very much. Yeah, it doesn't move us at all actually. Fuck. Oh my god. Well, that's not a very stable branch. There we go again. Go way up. And I think, actually, that cave up there is a different area we can get to. Oh, there we go. Ooh, arsenal charm. Could be useful. Oh, shit. I think this won't hurt me. Nice. We'll just wait here. Very nice. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, well. You know, we landed it perfectly three times, but I guess it was finally time to uh, have that not go our way. <laughs> um. That's kind of a bummer. There goes our rune arc. Now we gotta go clean out that shit again. I might just run. Maybe I'll just run. No, I... We'll just clear it out again. Let's not be impatient. Because it's precarious enough that I wouldn't want to lose again. We'll not use a rune arc, because I don't think I'm too terribly concerned about health or doing a ton of extra damage. Um...
I'm just gonna leave these guys alone too, now that we've already taken all their materials. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's nice. Oh, they're on to us. Come here, buddy. Yeah, still doing decent damage. I know that there is a guy up here that I want to take out. Two guys up here that I want to take out. No, sir. While well, we're up here, I guess we might as well grab this. Well, hello? Nice. Our, our, I don't know if Arteria Leafs are rare or not, actually. Oh, thanks. He has been alerted to my presence. I don't think he's gonna follow me. Alright. Man, in this game, health is just not... You don't get a lot of health. My faith sword go uh, Okay. Well, welcome to my... My ASMR stream, where I'm talking in a really soft voice because it's relaxing me while I explain what I'm doing in Elden Ring. Ow. I, I guess I just have to get back up by jumping on this. Oh, please don't fucking slide off the side. Maybe now that we have the uh, arsenal charm, we can put on some uh, heavier armor, even though the light armor is really funny. Fuck this room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I died in there once, but we're good now. Right, we're gonna leave these guys alone. Take out these little snails. Oh, 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 oh he did fall in the way over here. I'm not expecting that. Oh, here's the boss already. So, David, how has your day been today? Mine has been pretty good. I went outside in the rain. It was really nice. I went to a little walk with my umbrella. Right, let's drink a little bit of this. Let's get it. It's like, uh, Crystallian fight. I think there's two two of them, it looks like. Two of them. You, you have fun with that one, kind of? yeah, Hold on, I kind of wonder if beast incantations work any better. Okay, leave my friend alone here. Does this work on them? Take that as a no, it does not. Ow. No, there goes my friend. Oh, okay. Alright. Yeah, you take your time, buddy. I don't know if I've ever seen that one before. Oh, you're done. Done though. Broomskate? Wait, you bought a fight stick? That's kind of cool. Do you, you have it for like, the gear or another game that you're going to play with the fight stick? There's another boss down. Kind of cool. Didn't get a ton of stuff for that. Uh, we'll just go ahead and head back up. Uh, what? 
What is that? Potemkin? I've never heard of that before. What is Potemkin? I've never, yeah, I've never heard of that. Is that a? Fi I mean, I assume it's a fighting game. Dude, Bozo got destroyed. I broke him into little pieces. That's yeah. I've never heard of that. What is that? All right, let me really quick cross off. Stealing spear and crystalline ring blade. Cool. Done. Uh oh, is a character in Guilty Gear? Okay, grappler. Does playing with a fight? I. I've only ever played with fight sticks like at arcades. Like, there's been some some parties I go to where people will play with fight sticks. They'll bust out their fight stick to play like Mortal Kombat. Never for Smash. It's always it's always those two player games like Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat, which I guess makes sense. But you know what the funniest thing about uh, people who play in tournaments is, is that whenever you're like at a recreational party and you're playing a fighting game, I notice this is the dudes who play in fighting game tournaments, every single time somebody combos them, they do the thing where they, like, purse their lips together and shake their head. They're like, oh, yep, yep, I should have seen that coming. Every single time. That's how you can tell. Somebody who plays in tournaments, when they when they get comboed, they start nodding. That's how it is. Um, makes precise inputs a lot easier. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Um, wouldn't, wouldn't just using a regular joystick on a controller be better, though? Or is it just because you can have your whole, like, palm on the, the joystick uh, instead of just your thumb? It makes it easier to control. Hey, Ellie. I think, okay, so I did warp back here, but honestly, we'll come back here in a second. We're going to really quick head to the round table hold and see if we can't upgrade a little bit. Yeah, I want to play Guilty Gear Strive at some point, just just because I, I have such admiration for the character design. Like, their characters are so freaking cool. Um, and when it comes to fighting games, you know, besides the gameplay itself, the most important thing is the characters. Like, the, the people that you can express your combat through. That's the real shit. Um... So this is, I will reiterate, this is my attempt at a semi-ASMR stream, because, I mean, even though the game audio is loud, I just want to be soothing today. Still only smithing stone two. I don't know where we get a three. I'm going to go ahead and buy two of these, just so we have them. Okay, I'm going to actually pick up my phone to read this one. So, David says, fight sticks snap to one of eight directions when you use them, which makes a lot of fighting game inputs a lot easier. Controller joysticks are less precise, meaning combos are a lot harder. Hmm. Like, the forward down diagonal input are torture on a controller. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I, I used to... Um, I think the fighting game that I got the most into... Uh, not my favorite, but the one that I got the most into playing people online was actually Injustice, uh, Injustice 1, which is the DC fighting game. I really like that game. And, yeah, pulling off some of the combos of some of the characters was pretty difficult on controller. Okay, I actually don't know if we can level up anything, but I wanted to check. Um... Oh, yep, we got to level up our side hustle over here. Oh, that's very nice. Oh, that's exactly what we wanted, actually. We still need more Smithing Stone 3 to get our Talisman up. But in the meantime, not bad. It's going to be a lot of damage. Newer Mortal Kombat's are really good, I've heard. Yeah, Injustice is pretty fun. The first Injustice, actually, like, I really like the the guest characters that they've had in Injustice. In the first game, the only guest character they had was Scorpion from Mortal Kombat. They put him in Injustice, but in Injustice 2, they had Sub-Zero and Raiden from Mortal Kombat. I think people were not happy about that, actually, but Sub-Zero and Raiden, they had all four of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, and Hellboy which is fucking dope 
and then I mean also I mean Mortal Kombat is known for its guest characters. I know the latest Mortal Kombat had some fucking crazy guest characters like they had Spawn, they had the Joker, RoboCop, they fought fucking Rambo. Like that shit is that's just I like that. That's goofy. I love guest characters. I love I love crossover fighting games, which is I think why Super Smash Bros does so well and things like, you know, Marvel versus Capcom and like I really do think that when it comes to fighting games, the most important thing is the characters. I feel pretty strongly about that. All right, we're going to go ahead and warp on back to where we just were. And we'll go talk to the Gold Mask, and then we're heading up to the Godskin Apostle fight, the very first one. And I'm, I love the Godskin Apostle fight. Honestly, because I'm planning on summoning Millicent, and I'm like fairly decently leveled for this area, I think I'm kind of going to annihilate him which might be a little bit disappointing, but I, I still do think it's a great fight. I think a lot of people think the first Godskin Apostle fight, fight is good. I actually, when I first played Elden Ring in my first playthrough, I encountered the Godskin Apostle in Dragon's Barrow because I was just so fascinated by the, the climb up the Divine Tower that I was just like, I gotta know what's at the bottom of this. So I did that way before I even ever went to Altus Plateau. Yeah, Hellboy's sick. Oh yeah, Tekken did have Negan, that's true. Oh, well, is Nidhogg... I mean, Nidhogg is technically a, a fighting game, but it's not very traditional. So I don't know if I'd count that. I, the thing about Nidhogg is I think that it's so unique in the, its combat that that in and of itself kind of separates it away from any other kind of fighter. But I, I think that's definitely debatable. Uh, and you know, that's the beauty of genre, is that generally, generally speaking, if there is like calling genre into question about any form of media there's always a way that you can argue that the media is a different kind of genre than most people think that it is i think that is always true okay so we are headed here that's number two so i've already kind of explored this forest we'll just make our way over here not get shit on by worm faces so sorry i'm gonna have to look away from chat for a little bit while I navigate through here, because I just don't want to... Well, I don't want to deal with this shit. <laughs> okay. oh. Pardon me. Excuse me. Pardon me. I almost feel like... Ooh! I didn't know there were some golden seeds down here. That's helpful. I can't remember. So we have nine, so 11. Ellie, David, do you guys remember if the max amount of flasks you can have in this game is 12 or 15? Because I can't remember if it's 12 or 15. I know... I know that in Dark Souls 2 it's 12, and I know that in, uh, I know that in Dark Souls 3 it's 15, but I don't remember which it is in this game, I can never remember. In, um, fucking Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1, it's 20 is the most you can have, which is crazy. Okay, I guess I'll work our way up through here. Hey there, are you gonna attack me? Yeah, okay. I mean, I'm good. Oh god, they've, they've spotted me. Girl. Oh, fuck. Uh, probably should. Oh, that actually doesn't do that much damage. Oh, I thought I only killed one of them. Oh, it sucks to be you, dude. Hi. Um, I think 
Are we safe here? Looks like we're safe, so I'll go ahead and read chat for a sec. Never got the maximum amount, but typed like my name, maximum guitar. It's 14, and you get a plus 12? Yeah, okay. I'm not worried, because as far as upgrading the amount that the flasks heal, I know that there is a set amount of sacred tears, and I, I generally know where they all are, but as far as golden seeds go, I don't have that memorized, because you get way more golden seeds than you need to fully level up the amount of flasks that you have. Um, yeah. Dude. Ah, oh, Radigan. David, did you end up, ever end up beating the game? Did you beat Radigan? And Elden Beast? Dude, that's what I call my cock and balls. That was not funny. No, okay, it was actually a little bit funny. I think the, the fact that I had the audacity to say it was the funny part, as opposed to the actual joke. Oh no, you didn't beat the game, damn. Yeah, it's the first time I played, I had a strength, faith build, and it was no big deal for me. My second playthrough, I had an intelligence, um, an intelligence dexterity build, and it was way, way harder. Uh, strength builds are really good against Radigan, but um, yeah, I just could not do shit with a dex build against either Radigan or the Elven Beast, but I mean, I I did it. It took some finagling, some finesse, but uh, I was able to do it. I'm very excited for the DLC. I, I'm pretty sure it's been data mined that there is intention for there to be Elven... Oh my god, it's a battle mage. There is intention for um, there to be DLC for Elden Ring, but nobody knows when or what it's going to be. Uh, but there is stuff in the code that would suggest that, first of all, um, first of all, there is going to be a story DLC with at least a new region, at least one, and that all of the, I think there's three of them, the three coliseums around the world are actually going to be hotspots for, like, multiplayer PvP, which is very cool. Which is, I think, why in the latest update they did a separate entire balance for PvP. Because in the entire Souls series up to this point, uh, PvP and PvE were balanced exactly the same. But in this last update, weapons affect players differently than they affect enemies. Here's the brilliant gold mask. I like his fit, honestly. I'd wear that. So now I think if we go talk to Corin, he'll move over here and have something to say. Uh, I will play the game again from beginning if the DLC comes out, and then I will beat it. I think I would recommend... I don't know. I, I guess my best uh, advice is if you're hard stuck on Radigan, like, go ahead and get a larval tier and just respec into a strength build just for that one boss, because, I mean, if it's at the end of the game, it's not too big of a commitment, and just go for a big heavy weapon. Dude, look at these dancing fuckers. So there's no boss over here, but there might be items, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and just... Oh god, fucking dogs. I'm just gonna go ahead and peek and see... Are the dogs after me? Oh, the fucking dogs are after me. All right. I'm just gonna see what's over here. See if there's any items. I don't know if these crazy dancing ladies will actually even attack me. So I think. I'm just gonna pardon me. Ooh, dude. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, let me grab this real quick. Ooh. So that, the thing I just picked up there was Roderica's shit, but with a blue hood instead. I should really quickly fashion souls, as it were. Um, I guess we'll go check out this windmill as well. And then we'll head back to uh, 
take on the Godskin Apostle. Slow stream today. I feel like we've been playing for way more than an hour, but it has not even been an hour. I'm just awfully tired. Ooh, are you worth killing? You've got glowy eyes? How many? 900 for just one guy. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, big rat. Yo. Yo, what's a big fucking rat, dude? dude I was... When I was out walking today, I... In my neighbor's yard, there was a cat that like, sat under part of the roof because it was raining. It was just... I think it was just a stray cat, and it was, like, very clearly cold. And it was tucking its head under itself to try and keep warm, so I walked up to it and I just like was like, Hey yo, you like good cat, but it, it ran away from me, it did not like me, unfortunately. So it might have been an actual stray cat and not just like a domesticated one that got out and was walking around the neighborhood. Because we do have people just kinda let their domestic cats walk around my neighborhood, so I, I just didn't know. The part of me was like, I'm so sad that you're cold, I wish I could do something, but I know my parents would never let me bring a stray cat inside, even if it was only for a little bit. Because, yeah. Oh. Ah, oh, David is heading out. Peace out, David. Anyways. Did I go out on this bridge already? Is this the same? This is the same bridge. Okay. Um. Anyways, yeah. That was what I was dealing with looking at some kitty. Oh, shit. I didn't see you. Oh, the wind up got me. Come here, come here. What you think you got? You ain't got shit. Ow. Okay, well, I guess you got that slam attack. Giant rat ashes. Is there anything crazy out here, around here? Looks like no. Alright, well, that's done. So let's go up here. Okay, what have I. Where are my markers? One, where's. Yeah, okay. We're heading to one. Uh, I. Do I want to fight this battle mage? I don't think I do. These fucking guys. Traveling weirdos. <sighs> oh. Man, my own sleepy voice is making me tired. I don't think they are. Yeah, well, we got the misbegotten. I can't imagine that they're uh, super friendly. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. That came in quicker than I was expecting. I wonder if I can parry this guy. Hold on, let's, it'll be really funny. Oh, god, they have dogs in the thing. You really gotta know the enemy patterns, man. Can I backstab? Oh, yeah. Wrecked. Beep, beep. Come on. Come on, now. Raw meat dumpling. Yeah, these guys are just gonna oh, give me like two souls. They're not worth killing. Is the point of that? What is? Is there anything else here? I 
don't think so. It's kind of a waste of time. There'd be like a cool item or something up here, but nah, nothing. No, I I was on Facebook this morning, cause I, you know I make it cause just cause I'm like I stay connected with people in ways that I I can, whatever social media app they're on. I I still get on Facebook at least once a day for like maybe one minute and just kind of look to see what people are up to. Um, I got on Facebook and I saw this advertisement for an Oreo cookie dip, so like kind of like guac but sugary and you would like dip cookies into it so the idea is like you crush up like oreo cookies and it's like whipped cream and powdered sugar and a bunch of these other things and i just thought that that was i don't know that caught my attention i feel like that's something that people would go out of their way to put in their body something disgusting what does this fucking guy say eek i hear a festive melody no no don't skin me my height is filthy i swear ah so these people are godskin worshippers, I suppose. So these fucking people, they attack me? I don't remember. I guess not. There's people up here further. Damn, fucking crazy, dude. Pardon me, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab your shit here. Ooh, that's nice. That sounds nauseating, yeah. Sometimes, though, sometimes you need something truly disgusting in your body. It's like why you go to McDonald's, right? You go to McDonald's to feel icky. Dude, you okay over there, bud? I am. No, it doesn't look like there's anything over there. I think they attack you... Like their dogs attack you because I remember dogs attacking me <laughs> and they go ape shit. Well, I guess I should be ready for dogs then. Maybe these guys down here don't attack me, but I'm gonna try and sneak around and not get the attention of any canine attackers. There's shit in this bush. Oh, I, never mind. I thought that was an item. It was just the stem. I don't know if, like, in Sekiro, if you walk through foliage, if it actually makes you harder to detect. But that's what I'm doing anyway, when I can. Oh, these ones are praying. Oh, they're getting up. Can they see me? They don't see me, but these guys look like they are not interested in partying. There's not even anything over here. Well, I was stealthy enough, I suppose. Let's give uh, this standing lady a wide berth and hope that she doesn't come at me. Where is Millicent? Oh god, here comes the Godskin Apostle. I don't want to fight him yet, I want to summon Millicent. I know she's around here somewhere. I'm gonna sneak around him for now. I know that you can summon her. But I don't know where. Damn it. Let's hope we don't aggro the boss. Maybe I didn't talk to her? I could I gave her the arm. Oh shit, maybe I need to... Maybe I need to talk to her after she puts on the arm. I think she's still there. Yeah, I, w I really want to fight this boss with Millicent. We do have a checkpoint here, so I think I'm going to go back. Because I think I have to talk to her again. Ugh. This... Hold on. <clears throat> I was so happy... When I got to this place, I couldn't believe they referenced the fucking Tangan... Wait, what? The Tanganyika laughter epidemic. What is that? 
I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Okay, let's go see if I can talk to her. Well enough. It might be possible for me to perhaps then I can. No, I could have sworn you can fucking summon her. It might be possible perhaps then. Huh. Well, maybe I have to touch the, the fucking thing. Like the summoning pool. Uh, I don't know. There was an epidemic of laughter. What? Do, what does that mean? How does that happen? What's the science behind that? I, I need information now. Alright, let's just zoom me back up. I don't know, man. Alright, well, you know, sometimes you just be laughing. Shit be crazy. Please, no dogs. Oh, yeah, there's a dog. I fucked up. Right. Oh, yeah, they're coming. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Please leave me alone. Alright, I'll just grab this. Okay, sir. Okay, alright. Hold on. Pardon me. Fuck off. No, I thought I had the. I was sure about these guys are gonna come after me. Alright. Come on, man, eh? Oh god. Oh god, I didn't know they did that. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Back up. Oh yeah, I guess I just had to activate the summoning pool. Well, here we go. It's time to triple team this motherfucker. Hello, Damien. Welcome. Do you know anything about the fucking hanging Mika laughter epidemic, Damien? Come on, motherfucker. Let's go. Shit, I thought I would be doing more damage. This isn't gonna be as easy as I thought. Oh fuck, and yeah, he does a lot of damage as well. Oh fuck. Get his ass. Oh well, there goes one of my friends. Super well. Oh, no, not really. Oh, shit. Oh, that was the wrong. That's. Oh, I thought that was gonna fucking cost me life, that mistake. Well, now we have significantly less magic to work with due to my own blunder. Can you help me, please? Melissa, please. God. Uh -oh. I 
if I should finish him off while I'm on my horse. Killed all my friends. I don't know, someone said something really funny. Maybe. Scoring Black Flame. Give that a go, maybe. That was pretty good. It's alright, the boss theme. You know, this is, I guess this is just a terrible take, but I just think that the boss theme is like okay. Oh, there's Millicent. It's like, it's alright. <laughs> like, Elden Ring music is alright. I don't know. Alright, go, go for some bigger here. And let's really quick see... Like, I don't really like this spell, so... Can we use... Oh, we need 28 faith. Which we would have if... I had my shit on. I guess we can bust a rune arc open. We got 7 on. Now we should be able to use this spell. What is this like? Oh yeah, that's probably actually really good for like groups of small enemies, as long as I don't shoot into the ground. Yeah. I mean, I'll take that over uh, Beast Claw, which really wasn't doing anything for me. Rank modern from software game soundtracks. Okay, Elden Ring is worse. Well, okay. I think Elden Ring is the worst, if I'm being honest. Elden Ring is the worst. Then Dark Souls 2. Very close. Um, then Demon Souls. Hmm, honestly? No, you know, it's Sekiro. Actually, Sek Elden Ring and Dark Souls 2 and Sekiro are all kind of in the same boat where their soundtracks are just good enough, in my personal opinion. Um, I think Dark Souls 2 actually comes out on top because it has the most notable bangers, so I think it goes Elden Ring, Sekiro, Dark Souls 2, then Demon Souls. And I'm talking about the original Demon Souls. Then, then it's hard because Dark Souls, Dark Souls Three, and Bloodborne's soundtracks are amazing. I think it goes Dark Souls, Dark Souls Three, Bloodborne. I think that feels right. Yeah, I don't know if that's necessarily a hot take, but I'm very firmly convinced that Elden Ring has the weakest FromSoft soundtrack. Or at least close to it. It just, for me, it feels too cinematic. Like, stuff, especially from, like, Demon Souls and Dark Souls, feels very weird, and I like that. Whereas Elden Ring feels very calculated, very, like, this is what gamers want to hear, this is the big orchestral score. There are a couple times where things stand out a little bit more in, like, almost a dram like such a dramatic way that it, it's like Moog's theme, Rykard's theme, those are really good. Godskin Apostle's theme is like, it's alright. Like it's it's no it's no Ornstein and Smo. It's no Ludwig. It's no Gale or Madeir. Not even close. Hello Millicent. Oh, we meet yet again. Not quite Beastie too. Man, I fucking love Beastie Boys so much. Just like my own. Even handling a sword. Perhaps it is foolish to say this to you of all people, but I am sure of my skill with the sword. Thus, I would have you call upon me in battle again, should you ever have the need. 
I... I would have you call upon me in battle, should you ever have the need. It is the only way that I can express my thanks. Yeah. Um, I just feel like when it comes to Elden Ring's soundtrack, there's nothing that sets it apart. It feels very generic fantasy to me. Because um, even, even Dark Souls 3, which has a very generic fantasy-sounding soundtrack, it does weird shit constantly. Like, right near the beginning, you've got Crystal Sage, you've got Deacons, where they throw in organ but not even like grand organ like goofy church organ and like that's so cool i love that oh yeah no dark souls 2 and sekiro because sekiro the instrumentation is just so spectacular that that draws me in it draws me into the world the ambience feels right not that i mean elden ring to me is so much more special than its soundtrack does for me just just in my personal opinion like elden ring elden ring's ost just feels too basic to me like it doesn't serve the majesty of the game not that i could do any better like i don't know enough about orchestral music or ambient fantasy music to really be able to say why but it just doesn't feel right to me it feels not grand enough most of the time. And dude, Bloodborne's OST is fantastic. Bloodborne, its ambient tracks are good. Everything about Bloodborne is good. Like, my god. The only thing about Bloodborne that sucks is the fact that you can't roll out of a sprint. That is the, that is the only part. That are they? They're fucking shooting, dude. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. I'm going this way. Fuck you. Ah, four-toed foul foot. Right, didn't I end up over here before? I guess I did, but let's just keep following the path. Yeah, we, we went to this... Oh fuck, there's... we still need to go... Check. Oh, no wait, I'm at this building. Is there a sacred tier? Did we already go here? I can't remember if we already went here or not. Um. Um. Yeah, I don't know, I just didn't get that. I, and I I even, like, turned the music up in Elden Ring over other sound effects. And I just did not get any of the dramatization of... The, uh, there are a couple, again, there are a couple tracks that did it for me. I really like Moog's track and Rykard's track. What's up with you? Wait, wait, okay. Wait, he's got a sword. That's dangerous. You should not have that. Oh! Oh. Oh, I see. Huh, you failed. You tried to trick me and you failed. Alright, well, come on. Come here, motherfucker. I'll play your game. I'll play your silly little game. You think you're so cool? Okay, well, if your, your friends over there come over, then we're gonna have a problem. Not ready. Oh, fine. I guess I can just run away. This guy should be fine. I just need to remember his moveset. set. Yeah, that hitbox on that slam is bigger than I anticipated it being, because normally when I fight these guys, they don't do that move. They also normally have time to buff, which I guess I should have done. For that? Ooh, not bad. And we got all our shit back too. And, and a larval tier. Nice. Oh, that's interesting. 
That's interesting. So maybe that guy in that random corner was like a lion who used a larval tear to transform himself or something? I'm not sure. That's interesting. Um, you know, Ancestral Guardians is good. Uh, don't really much care for Radon's theme very much. Poor um, Lou's theme is okay. I, I definitely like it more than uh, most of the themes in the game. Poor Lou's not bad. Stealth seems also pretty cool. Like, uh, like all of these themes, like, none of them are bad. I just think that they're, like, okay. I don't, I really don't think any of the Elden Ring songs are, like, holy shit. The oh, okay, there's one Elden Ring song that is, like, holy fuck for me, and that's Radigan's theme and Elden Beast. That one is fantastic because it plays on motifs, and I'm a sucker for motifs. Oh, my God. Okay, well, I think it's safe to say that Lance X is over there. Why am I killing these guys again? What am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? I'm wasting my time. I like wanted to like look down here. Yeah, I don't know. Like, normally when I play a FromSoft game, I expect to be blown away by like 50% of the soundtrack. And Elden Ring just does not do that for me at all. See, look, there's shit here. Yeah, you know, I just I just think about Bloodborne's soundtrack, and it's just it's just too good, man. Just too good. Okay, so we're working our way, making our way downtown here. I think up on this hill is where Lancey X is chilling, but let's. First, take care of some of the other bosses around here. He's fucking dead up here. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of Radigan's theme. Or, not not Radigan. Sorry, I meant Radon. <laughs> I am a huge fan of Radigan's theme. But, uh... Radon, less so for me. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's take some time to put on some new clothes, maybe, huh? What kind of goofy shit we got? We have this. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. Do we have anything that matches that? What if we just put on the whole... Ah, oh, I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> I feel like it almost defeats the character. We have to have tits out. There's no way we can't have tits out. We put on some bulky ass pants though. This goofy ass pants are the way to go. You know, I think we had it figured out. I think I think this is the fit, honestly. It's too good. Alright, well well, yep, that's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Um so take a look at my list here. So we need in Altus Plateau, we, there's a demi human queen that we missed. Killed the Godskin Apostle. Let me check that. I forgot to check that off the list. There's two bosses in the Hero's Grave. I know where the other three bosses are. So it's literally the only one that I don't know where it is, is that Demi-Human Queen. I just don't remember, so I have to look that up. Anyway. Words over this way. We're going over to the Hero's Grave. Hey, Holgar Blooms! I don't know, I guess I'll just grab some of these. Just cause. Oh my god. <laughs> you fucking lightning strike the fucking goat? Jeez. Oh no, they just like... be conducting electricity. <sighs> Have I asked as a food question before? Have I asked what my, uh, your favorite... Um, cookie is okay. Black Knife Assassin. Try our new spells. 
to see how it does. I mean, I guess it's probably better to... Oh, that was the wrong fucking thing. Sir, I need to ma'am. I can actually see you, at least. Slippery, ain't ya? Like any boss I fight is just completely fucking covered with arrows by the end. Ha! Oh god. That was so risky. Huh, I guess you can do it too, huh? <laughs> you missed. the dust. Ooh, we got the black knight. Alright, time to do some running. It's Hero's Grave, baby. While we're going down this elevator, I'll read chat. Um, let's see here. Oatmeal raisin is up there, but straight up cookies just don't do it for me anymore. Hmm. Can't get behind raisin, but oatmeal chocolate chip is up there. Ooh, I love raisin cookies, so I, I will take an oatmeal raisin, but oatmeal chocolate chip also. Molasses. I've never had a molasses cookie. What is a molasses cookie? Snickerdoodle is good. Okay, Damien, I'm going to need you to elaborate on why snickerdoodle is good in a fucked up sort of way. That's It's important to me that I know what that means. I guess, I don't know if I maybe just made a mistake, but I guess I should probably enable the uh, the summoning pool because I didn't realize it also uh, is for NPC summons as well. Um, have you ever had a ginger snap? Those are the same as molasses cookies. I've never had a ginger snap either. <laughs> so that might have something to do with it. <laughs> All right, so the Black Knife Assassin... The Sainted Hero's Grave we have now defeated. So there's a boss at the end of here. There's three bosses right outside the outskirts. And then also up at the top of this mountain that this building is on, there's Lanciax. And then somewhere around the Lux Ruins, I think, there is a Demi-Human Queen. And I don't know if we should try to do the Demi-Human Queen sooner rather than later, but we'll see where we get. sea salt on down. A molasses cookie is basically a regular cookie, but with molasses, ginger, and cloves added. It sounds very, very nice. Very uh, autumnal is what it sounds like to me. Sweet. Maybe a little sticky. That sounds good. Yeah. Oh, that sounds really nice. That sounds really nice. I'm getting a little cold. I'm actually gonna turn my fan off. I'm getting kind of cold. What is this? Oh, okay, so no, this isn't one, this isn't a, uh, a hero's grave where you have to run from those fucking things. It's one where you have to fight the enemies and, uh, get them to sit in light. Those fucking cakey-ass cookies with the frosting. Oh, I love those. Like, the sugar, like sugar cookies with frosting on top, like cake cookies or whatever they're called. I love those, because I'm a bitch, I guess. I don't remember this dungeon, so we're just gonna have to wing it and see what happens. Oh, fuck. Dude, it's the fucking yellow piss magic. It's coming back. It's making a comeback from last week. Was that really only last week? 
I feel Part of me feels like time flies so fast. Oh, I wasn't actually expecting that to work. Part of me feels like time flies so freaking fast, and part of me also feels like it stands still. Like, and it, it's always in based on perspective of, of different events. Like, there'll be an event that happened like two months ago, and it feels like it was you know a couple days ago and then there'll be a completely different event that i associate in a different way and it'll have happened a couple days ago but it feels like it was two weeks ago you know it's i don't know hello now come fight me in the light you didn't see it but that guy was bathed in shadow and he made the foolish decision to step within the Come on now. Don't be shy. We're doing our fuck up because. Alright, hold on. Let me, let me read this again. Important. We're taking our time today. Um, Snickerdoodles are fucked up because there's so much cinnamon that its quality is completely different in nature from the quality of another kind of cookie. Okay. They're good in the same way that gasoline smells good. That. I think that's the most evocative thing you've said thus far, describing the, the quality of this kind of cookie. <laughs> and I'll take your word for it on that. Alright, where, where's my light source here? Oh, fuck. Over here. Come on now. <laughs> you, you fucked up. Oh, I didn't realize you could repost them in that house. I thought they were just stunned. Come on. Okay. Come on now. <sighs> Come here. What kind of grave violet? Are, are not the grave violet user. That's a grave violet user. Glove warts. Glove warts. Sorry. Only four. <laughs> All right. Well, you know. If we decide we want to level up a couple other spirit ashes. Um, is that gonna, okay, that's going to collapse for sure when I walk into it. It's there. Oh, Raindell Soldier Ashes. Alright. Whee! that one. <laughs> Couldn't be honest, was not expecting that. Jesus Christ. The grocery store version of the like cakey frosting cookies are poorly executed according to Damien. What is drill? D R I L. What is, what is that? I don't know what that is. Alright, dude. I'm gonna end up using up all my fucking rune arcs if I'm not careful. Just a Twitter guy. Oh, somebody, somebody like DM me one of his tweets. I gotta. I, I'm sure I'll recognize him if I like look at him. But well, let's just run back to where we were. No need to explore, we know where we're going. Okay, so the question is, will they follow me? Because that could be really bad if they do follow me. I think they're following me. Oh, they're definitely falling. Okay, this is gonna be.
we know to be careful. Or a shield break on or a posture break on these guys. Or at least just like get them to deflect off of my shield. So I can, uh, that was not what I wanted. But I'll take it. The damage. I think I should hold on. This is fuck. This is exactly what Oh I I can't use it because I don't have fucking my rune arc. Shit. Yeah, I'm gonna need to that's a decent spell that I want to have. Oh that's that. This is this is intense. This is fuck. Oh wow. I'm getting a fucking dick handed me. There we go. Oh my god, that was a huge waste. Man, I just need to fight. If I, can, if I can thin their numbers, it would be easier to find out. Alright, yeah. Come here. There's one more in here. Where are you? There he is. That was awful. Horrendous. Um, I think Drill makes more good tweets than me per month, but also ten times as many bad tweets, I would quickly become a shit tier Twitter account if I was posting all the time. Well, I mean, at least you are self-aware. Why... <sighs> Accidental emotes, man. Oh, that's what I want. Oh, only a three. Great. Well, we're running out of juice here, unfortunately. Places to go. This dungeon is more complicated than I remember. Really like. Oh man, I was hoping that could end. Um, we can ride up this one. Oh, we missed it. Ride up the beacons. So I'm streaming for another 30 minutes. Now that it's raining, and now it actually feels like October. It started raining. Came a little bit late. I mean, I guess it felt like October to a certain degree, but I just feel like I just think it's going to feel more Halloween-y. Oy, oy, oy. Whoa. Who's, who's casting the piss magic at me? No, 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 sir. None of that. No. -uh. You don't get to. Wait, there's more? Is there another one up there? Or is that just like leftover sound effects from... Oh, there's definitely another one. Oh, hi. Oh, I hate Yeah, being, being cold and wet in October sometimes, sometimes you just need that. Oh, oh! Okay, well, that's actually fine. Okay, so I, that, this is the room that I was getting my dick handed to me in, as I said. Um, yeah. Wait, I've been here before, haven't I? I ran, this is where I ran down. Oh, I see. I fell down into there, because this broke away. So that means we need to run further down the guillotine hallway. Be patient. Very patient. Don't 
don't think that new team, yeah, that new team is definitely not close enough to get on top of that. Maybe there's a ladder at the end of this hallway, if I remember correctly. Oh, Jesus. Okay, well, we were expecting that. Luckily, you're a fool. You ran into a corner. There is... So that's the boss room. There's passage over that way. Shit, internet. I'm terribly sorry. We're lost. It is a three. Oh, yep, I was right. Here's a ladder. Okay, if I remember correctly, there's a big scary guy in this room that we have to lure. Yep. Oh my fucking god. No. Oh, I hit him. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, that's bad. That's really bad. That's extremely bad. Oh, I'm dead. I'm so bad. Yeah. If you can't get that repost, you're dead against these fucking guys. Well, I guess it's, it's a good thing that I didn't use, um, another rune arc. Man, this dungeon is tough. I have not, I was not expecting that. Crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. It's a name you should know. I hope the uh, the stream audio and video quality have been all right as well. For some reason, I had to really quick reset my stream monitor. There we go. Yeah, my dashboard is just not showing up. I don't know what was up with that. Um. This is taking a while to load. Okay, here we go. Off again. Get that heal spell ready to go immediately this time. Now that we know what we're up against, I am just going to do my. Oh shit! No, I need to clear out that room again because I'm gonna have to fight a boss in there. I think. Fuck, man. Maybe I don't care, actually. Hold on. I think I don't care, yeah. Oh, hi. I, mean, I guess as long as he can't shoot upwards, I'm good. Alright, heal spell ready to go. Where is my souls? Understand why that didn't work. Okay, that's fine. We decided to teleport. Shit. That sucks. Alright, well, we're 
up here now. I think, is this where the scary man is? There he is. Okay, so we gotta kill this guy. We have to lure him. Let's get to it. Is this a five? Yeah, there we go. Whoa. Come here, motherfucker. Come here. So once we kill this guy... God, Kimmy is here. I can't. Oh my god. I can't really look at chat right now, but I can't really. stream on the light rail. Um, do mucho hungro. Wish I could have gotten prettier before I left. I'm gonna stop streaming pretty soon, but yeah, I do hope that... Jesus Christ, you motherfucker. I do hope that your, uh, your dinner is lovely. Have a good time. Time. Oh my god, I I almost <sighs> Yeah. And I re I reiterate again, this is this is I, I'm surprised I've been able to keep it up for this long because of my ASMR stream where I'm just speaking nice and softly because I'm really tired. Okay. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, I think. This is an ancient hero of Zamor. So here we go, gamers. How will we fare? Oh yeah. Decided I'm actually not going to carry this is some magic that we have in there. Okay. Well, never mind. Melee is fine. I just need to be more smart. Please tell me that I don't think he's he doesn't have an AoE on that attack. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Alright, I guess it's just you and me then. Dragon Knight Kristoff. Give it up for Ancient Dragon Knight Kristoff. Okay, that was that was not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, damn, she can't hear anything. Bye. Crazy. Okay. Um Well, another boss down. And we've got still twenty minutes left, so I guess. Um what do y'all want to see? So I can go fight Ancient Dragon Lanciax. I can try and hunt down wherever the fuck the um, Demi-Human Queen is. And then there's three bosses here. It's like an Omen Killer, 
a tree sentinel duo, and then there's a falling star beast all over here. I think that might be better for a finale. But I don't know if I should do Lanciax first or look for the Demi-Human Queen, but I don't know. What are, what are y'all in the mood for? Because in the meantime, I can... I'll wait. I'll wait to see if anyone has a preference. If not, I'll just pick something and go. In the meantime, let me check off my list. Yeah, this plateau. I just beat the ancient hero of Zamora. Holy cow. Can you believe it? So we've got five bosses left in the overworld of Altus Plateau before we get into the uh, stuff like... I mean, I don't know if I want to do the Capital Outskirts or Mount Gelmir or we could do Nokron. There's like a whole handful of shit we can do after I finish up Altus. Um, I guess because it would be kind of a cool way to end the stream... And presumably, I, I can only imagine it'll take a long time. If not, I guess we can go looking for the fucking demi-human queen. Um, we'll go and take a look and see if we can't find where good old ancient dragon Lanciax is hiding. And we can take her out. We have five bosses left in the Altus Plateau. Count them. Five. It bums me out because I know I know I was close to one of them and I just walked away. I just didn't. It was like a stream or two ago. I think it was last stream. And I just fucking kind of no-brained it and walked right past an area where there was a boss. Oh, well. Okay. Oh. Which way? We're headed down the road. Curve up this mountain. I think the Lanciax will be waiting for us at the top. Oh god, hello. Yeah, I think, I think she's hanging out up here. Alright, y'all, get ready for a dragon fight. somewhere oh yeah oh hi I wasn't expecting that I thought you were going to spawn back for the rip oh. rip latena Shit, I have 50,000 souls. Probably should go spend those. <laughs> My god, that was crazy. That was a lot of damage. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm debating in this situation if having a rune arc would be for the better or for the worse because I don't want to lose it, but also having that little bit of extra health to not get insta-killed if I fumble on the horse would be nice. Um, I guess later I suppose we will figure that out later um, in the meantime <laughs> let's go grab let's just go grab those souls and run back before we fight the boss again because I don't want to risk missing out on a level and a half 
of experience. Didn't do too bad, though. Didn't do too bad. I hope our... I see your mess in it. Oop, yeah, definitely good that we grabbed that. Oh! Oh, there's a church down there. Let's let's go check that out. There's probably before we fight the dragon, there's probably a sacred fucking thing over there, whatever they're called. Sacred tier. Pardon me while I loot these graves. Oh god, the fucking goats are trying to attack me. Leave me alone. I forgot there was a church over here. Is this where that... Oh god. a little bit of a detour before we fight the big fucking dragon. that was there. I guess we'll grab this marker real quick. Dragon Bolt Blessing. Okay, that might be worth looking at. back to over here level up now these last 10 minutes we're going to attempt to battle lazy x all right farewell ellie have a good night or i mean i guess i'll probably talk to you later but good night um so we got 10 minutes here to finish off this boss. Let's see if we can't do it. For that faith, I want to get that 28th faith so we can actually cast that spell without our rune arc. Really quickly, want to see what that spell does that we just got. See if it's gonna be worth it. Bolsters caster's body with lightning. What does that actually do? Lightning bolt attacks become easier to deflect, and resistance to all ailments is increased. Every lightning damage negation will be reduced. Oh, well, that doesn't really strike me as particularly useful. Oh god, I bumped my microphone. Terribly sorry. Okay. On we go, then. Another attempt at fighting the dragon. Far 
back in, right? Here. Oh. Jesus. Still. Still. There's no winner. I see what's happening here. I see. Okay, we're gonna need we're gonna need a different strategy, potentially. <laughs> okay. Um Well, I suppose then we'll just keep trying at this for the rest of the stream and see if we can make it come together in these last little few minutes here. I think, do I try? I think I will go ahead and use a one run arc for this. One, one shot the rune arc. Maybe try, try the ranged battle, as it were. Try and arrange the battle. Honestly, I don't even know if it's worth summoning. I guess we can try it. I'm gonna see if I can like run back this way and then place the summon after I have a hot second in. Like once here we go. When I run back all the way over here. There we go. Oh no, I can't stop. Try running to the other side of the area. I'm good. Oh, fuck. slow down and then my timing gets I feel like I've said that so many times. Aye, aye, aye. Hopefully we can finish off. Axe's Glaive. That might be kind of fucking sick. Well, everything else is dead, so let's we'll pick up the remainder of what we left behind. Pin these bones. What a legendary battle that was. Alright. I don't think there's any 
anything else up here, no. Okay, alright. So, next, before we do these three bosses, I would like to look at the Lux runes. Get up there, yeah, we'll just spawn here and work our way up this way. And take a look around uh, and see if we... Because this boss is easy enough that if I find it quickly enough, I, I don't... The issue is I don't remember where this boss is, if it's like a secret area or what gives. But if we can really quickly take out this boss before the stream's end, uh, before the stream ends, that would be pretty cool. Our ancient dragon Lancey X is done. What a great boss. What a cool boss. Um, yeah, we've got three minutes, so I will just go ahead and look. Let's grab this. We have that. Alright, just leave it there. Okay. Um, I think we need to go up the hill here. I think have we cleared. Yeah, we've cleared all our markers, so. Just gotta go up here and see if I can find. Again, we went up here, and I'm, I'm fairly certain there's a boss here. If not, if I am actually mistaken and there is not a boss up here and I'm confused then I will let's clear these guys out again Just like, is it like there's a secret in here that I missed? I could have sworn the boss came around here somewhere. I, I remember checking down here and I couldn't find anything, so I'm just assuming that it's up on this part. Unless I looked down there and there was nothing. No. Oh, maybe? Potentially? Is there something here? Nope. Maybe over here. No. I feel like... Oh! I just literally missed it. It's right here. Okay. Um, well, I suppose it is 7.30, so instead of fighting this boss, I will just quit out of the game right here, because I do need to go, and I mean, I think I should be able to do it first try, but this will be a activity that we do at the beginning of our next stream, which will be at some point next week. Um, thank you all very much for hanging out and spending time with me on this day for some more Elden Ring, and I will catch you all next time when we'll finish Altus Plateau and then I don't know where I'm going to after that. Maybe, probably Mount Gelmir. Mount Gelmir would probably be pretty cool. Anyways, peace out everyone. Bye bye!